Welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another chair yoga class. So we're going to be working on a lot of upper body today at the shoulders, um, your arms, of course the side body, and do some leg stuff. So to begin with, let's start at the back of your chair. So scoot your bottom all the way to the back of that chair. Give your back a little scrub side to side. Yeah, so just kind of connecting your mind with the sensation of your body moving side to side. Feeling that nice little scrub. Take a breath in. And a nice long breath out. Good, and then come on back to center. Just let your legs come out in front of you. Give them an easy little wiggle. Great. And then from here, take your arms out by your sides. Bring a bend to the elbows. So for some of us, just sitting back in this chair, having the elbows bent, you'll get a stretch across your chest. If you don't feel a whole lot, then maybe you start to let these arms get heavier and then start to lift your chest up. Maybe you look up. So we're just using the weight of the arms to gently draw these shoulder blades back, widen your collarbones. Take another big breath and exhale out. And then as you come to your next inhale, bring these shoulders back over the hips, bend the elbows and place the backs of the hands just on your thighs. And let your body get comfortable in your seat. Just taking a few moments to connect our minds with our body by using our breath. So maybe the eyes close, or maybe you just look down towards the ground. Either way is fine. And we're just gonna take a nice big breath in through the nose and a nice long sigh out of the mouth. Let's do that again. In through the nose, out of the mouth, letting the face soften and the jaw soften. And then we'll just start to take that breath in and out of the nose. Feeling that air as it moves in through your nostrils, down your throat, filling up your lungs. And then a nice long emptying out. Exhaling, that air moves from your lungs, up your throat, and out your nose. And let's just do three of those. Breathing in, slow and easy. Noticing the sensations in your torso that maybe you feel that bit of expansion as you fill up. And then that emptying out, that releasing sensation as the air moves up and out. For first few moments of class, just to again connect to the breath, bring your mind into this moment, into your body sitting here into this chair, wrapping our minds around our practice, and letting go of all the other to dos because right now we're going to be present and we're just going to breathe and move just as much or as little as your body wants. So, from here, we're going to step the feet in right underneath those. Um, the ankles are going to be underneath the knees, and the hands are going to come beside you on your chair. And on your next inhale, we're going to lift the body away from the back of that chair and let the arms just dangle down. And then with the eyes still soft or closed, see if you can feel where those ears would be over the shoulders and the shoulders will be over the hips. And you might notice where your arms are dangling. Are they right by the hips? And if so, more than likely you're sitting upright. If the arms are a little more forward of the hips, that could mean that you're leaning forward. And if the arms are behind your hips, that may mean that you're leaning back. So finding that sweet spot. Take a breath here. And then exhale out. And then flicker your eyes open. Good, nice. So from here, we're gonna reach these arms out by our sides and open your fingers wide and give them a good wiggle. So wiggle in your fingers. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good, and then circle the hands on the wrist joint. 
getting all of our pops and creaks out. And then we'll go the opposite direction, circling around. Great. And then from here, we're going to reach the arms out around the shoulders. You can kind of look at that. They're just straight out from the shoulders, seeing where you are. And then inhale, take the hands all the way up. Good. Come on to your heart. Exhale. Nice. From here, we're going to scooch our behinds forward. So with your hands at your heart, see if you can kind of move one cheek at a time. So we bring one cheek forward and the other cheek forward. It's kind of like you're moving on your little sitting bones, your ischial tuberosities, and find that sweet spot where you're forward. Yeah. And again, ankles and knees are in line, ears, shoulders, hips are in line, and we're sitting up nice and tall. Beautiful. We're going to take the hands forward, breathe in, and open wide, breathe in. Good. Exhale, come back to center. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, open and wide, feeling your scapula squeeze to your spine, and then exhale, bringing the hands together, the scapula move to the outside of your back. Breathe in, open wide again. Exhale, come back to center. Good. Now right here, we're going to flip the palms so that the right hand's on the top, and then we're going to take the arms diagonally. So inhale, that right arm goes up, the left arm goes down. Good. Inhale, come on back to center. Flip your palms. Now the left arm's up. Inhale, taking the hands up. And exhale, bringing them back together. Great. And then we're going to flip the palms. Thumbs are straight up. We're going to go straight up. Breathe in. And swim away. Exhale. Nice. And then bring the shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. And up, back, and down. Great. And then from here, we're just going to start to kind of move these legs. So the hands can come onto the chair to give you some support. And then we're going to take that right knee out and then step the foot back in. And then the left side, breathe. And maybe lift it up a little bit and then drop it. Lifting it up and dropping it. Now see if you can be real quiet. Yes, you can barely hear your foot on the ground. Yeah, take a breath. Sometimes we like to hold our breath here. And we're just kind of getting these legs to work a little bit. And you just open those legs as far or as not as far as you want. It's whatever your hip socket says today. Good. And one more right. Good. And then one more left. Awesome. Great. Let the feet come wide. And then easy bring them in and take them out. Yeah. And in and out. Yeah, just moving this femur bone in your hip sockets. Good. And then we're going to stop where the knees are over the ankles. And now bring the hands onto the knees. And then let's just do a few little extensions and flexions of our spine. So we're going to inhale and lift the chest up. It's like this little baby arch. Maybe you look up. And then as you exhale, you just gently get to pull back. So I'll show you from the side. We inhale and we lift up. It's a little tiny arch. And then exhale, nice little pull back. Good. One more forward. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. And then from here, we're just going to circle around. So head over to the right. Come forward. Go left. And we're seeing how this feels in the side bodies, in the belly, in your back. They could be big circles. They could be little circles. And then go the other direction. See how that goes. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Nice. And then come on back to center. Great. And then again, come forward. Inhale, lift up and maybe look up. And then exhale, pull and back. Great. And then come to a nice tall spine. So bring the legs back in the center. And we're just going to take this right foot off to the side just a little bit. Just a little. Yeah. So the toes on this right side are going to kind of point out to the side a little bit. And then the left toes are going to go straight ahead. And we're sitting up tall. Making sure the ankle and knees are in line. And then we're going to push down with our feet. So these legs are going to start to activate. We're lengthening up in the sides of the body. So we're not going down using our torso to push into these legs. We're using the legs to push down. Good. And again, we're going to bring the hands forward. 
and open wide. Inhale, open wide. Good. Exhale, come together. Now this time the right arm's going to go up again. Great. Inhale, open these arms wide. Now we're going to shift them out. Exhale, switch out. Good. Stay here and inhale and reach the arms away from each other. And then as you exhale, pull the hands together. So now the left hand's on top. Inhale, open these arms, push into those feet. Exhale, switch it out. Reach your arms away from each other. Reach it out. So we have to use these back body muscles. And then exhale, close it up. Nice. And then take the thumbs straight up. Reach the arms up. And then open them just a little bit. So now we're lengthening, lengthening up in the sides of the body. The feet are pushing down while your torso is going up. Maybe if we open the fingers a little wider, the palms are going to face each other. Take another breath. And then swim away. Exhale. Good. And then release the legs. Then give them a wiggle. Good. And then bring that leg back in and we'll catch the second side. So left foot's off to the side just a little bit. So you're like, we call these our warrior one feet. And when we come to stand, you'll see they're kind of that same thing. That front, the front foot, that right foot is going to be facing straight ahead. The left foot's going to be going off to the side a little bit. So we get a little bit of external rotation in this hip joint. So again, lengthen up. Draw the belly in. Gently push down into the feet. So feel these legs start to engage. If you put your hands on your thighs, you're going to feel that. So now, hands again, coming forward. Beautiful. Open wide. Breathe in. Exhale. Come together. Now this time the left hand's going to go on top. Spread your arms apart. Inhale. Reach one arm up and one arm down. Switch out. Exhale. Stay here for the inhale and reach the arms apart. Breathe in. Open your fingers wide. Good. Exhale. Pull together. Good. Inhale. Right arm goes up. Left arm goes down. Keep pushing to those feet. Exhale, nice switch. Moving slow, good. Reach the arms away from each other. Breathe in, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, pull together. Nice, take the thumbs to face up. Inhale, taking the hands high. And just a little opening in these arms. Now if your arms don't like to come up high, you can bring them down a little wider or even to the heart. Either way is fine. We'll take another breath. And then as you exhale, swim away. Soften the legs and give them a wiggle. Nice job, guys. And then from here, we're going to bring the legs back on in. Nice. Hands are at those knees. And then inhale, just lift the chest up. So you're shining your heart upward. And then exhale, a little pull into your belly button towards your spine. Exhale. Good. And then come up to that nice, tall spine. Great. So from here, we're going to come on up to stand. Now, if you need to use your chair to help you stand, then use your chair. Have your hands on that chair. Otherwise, the feet are going to come a little wider. The feet are going to come a little bit back underneath these knees. And the hands are going to come to the heart. So right here, push your hands together. Feel how your core starts to engage. And then we'll take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to lean forward and push into those feet and come all the way up. And now we're going to come to the other side of the chair. Here we go. So right here, let's bring the, the, um, the feet a little wider than that chair. Yeah, and just easy, take your hips side to side. Just a little easy side to side. Mm -hmm. Good. And then come on back to center and now circle around your hips. Just a little circle. And then go the other direction. Nice. And then we'll step these feet back on in. So we've got these ears over the shoulders, over the hips. And then the knees and the ankles are going to be all in line as well. So we're in our Tadasana. We call this mountain pose. We're going to externally rotate these arms. So shoulders are back and down. And then the arms are going to drive downward. Yeah, it's like somebody is holding on to the arms and drawing them out and down. So sometimes what wants to happen is we want to jut out the chest real big. So see if you can think about your pubic bone coming towards your belly button. The tail's going just straight down. And the shoulder again, back and down. 
And these arms are just gently drawing downward. So your neck is getting nice and long. Yeah. Open the fingers wider. So feeling the muscles draw to the bones in the arms. Feeling those muscles in your back, your upper back, your middle back, your low back engaging, your belly. You might even feel your feet on the ground and then push down into the feet so then you feel those legs start to engage. Take another breath. And then as you exhale, soften. <sighs> good, good. So from here, we're gonna bring the hands onto the chair. Great, and stand nice and tall. And then reach the hands forward. Inhale, reach in forward and up. And then as you exhale, just bend your knees and sit your tush back. So we're coming into a chair pose. So bringing those tushes back. And it can be maybe a bar stool. So however far you wish to go, maybe you can wiggle some toes. You can always bring one hand to the chair if that's better for you, or take both. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, stand tall, arms down by your sides. Take the hands to the chair, we're gonna step back. So one foot goes back and then the other. Bend your knees, hinging at these hips, we're gonna slowly drop the chest. So for some of us, we might be about here. Maybe the elbows are bent. Maybe we drop maybe more or not. The knees can be bent a lot if that feels good in your low back. And imagine somebody pulling your hips back so that maybe you can wiggle your toes. So you're getting a little bit more um, weight in the heel of your feet than in the balls. Take a breath in and a breath out. So just lengthening out your spine from your tail all the way up to the crown of your head. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, lift up and look up. And then exhale, we're gonna take the right foot to the right leg of your chair. And bend the knee and take the toes off to the side. And then lift up your chest. Good. So we have warrior one feet. And the hands are gonna to come to the heart. If you wanna have one hand on that chair, you can sure do that or have both hands come into the heart. So when we're in this warrior one, I'll show you from the front. So right foot forwards, left foot's back. And the feet, as you can see, they're a little wider. So I've got this one, that right knee and ankle are in line and the left foot's back and that toes off to the side. The left leg is back. The hands are at the heart. Good. So wider is going to bring you more stability. Take the hands forward and open wide, breathe in. Exhale, come together. Nice, right hands on top. Inhale, reach your arms out. Exhale, it's that switch, just like we did earlier, switching out. Good, now pause here, reach your arms away from each other, big breath. And then exhale, close up. Good, inhale, left arm goes up, right arm goes down, now pause here, reach your arms, breathe in, and then switch, exhale. Nice, bring the hands together. Right on, and then the thumbs are gonna go up. We're gonna take the hands straight up, breathe in. And then exhale, swim away. Right on, good job. Hands are coming back to that chair. Here's my chair. And then we're going to step back one foot and then the other. The hips are going to draw back. And then we're going to gently let the chest fall down. So feel that nice stretch in the back of the legs, along your tush, maybe in your back, maybe in your arms. You can play with bending knees or bending elbows or playing with where does it feel better to have those feet. And then we're going to inhale, lift up and look up. And we're going to catch our second side. So left foot comes forward. Come, the left foot comes to the left leg of your chair. We bend the knee right on top of the ankle and then take those right toes off to the side. Slowly lift up your chest. Get nice and tall. Yeah, so I'll show you from this side. So that way you can see, again, feet are wider side to side for stability and the hands are coming up to the heart. Beautiful. Take the hands forward and back, open wide, big breath. Nice, exhale, come together. Now this time the left hand's on top, left hand's on top. Spread the arms, inhale, reach them out. Switch out, exhale. 
Good, reach the arms away from each other, breathe in, big stretch across your chest, and then exhale, pull the hands together. Nice, right hand goes up, breathe in, reaching the arms away from each other. Exhale, big switch. Pause and breathe, inhale, reach in these arms, and then exhale, bring the hands together. Nice, take the thumbs to face up. Inhale, take the hands high, and exhale, swim away. Good, bring the hands to the back of that chair, and then this time we're gonna pivot the back toes forward and step up. So step up and stand tall. Perfect, guys. And then let the feet come a little wider and then give it all a good wiggle. Always get a good wiggle on. Just wiggling out your body. Great, nice job, guys. So from here, our bodies are right behind that chair again. The hands are on the chair if that feels, if you need that stability, that's perfect. If you wanna have the hands by your sides, that's fine as well. We're coming back to that Tadasana, that mountain pose. So shoulders back and down. In fact, let's take a couple of those. Up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. And up, back, and down. We've been working these muscles, so it's nice to give them a little bit of a stretch. And then one more. Up, back, gently let the shoulders go down so you get that nice long neck. Actually rotate the arms so the shoulders going back and down. This external rotation is coming from that shoulder joint. And we're drawing those arms downward. Think about your pubic bone coming to your belly button. Closing the ribs, so we're not jetting the chest out, we're drawing that all in. Yeah, good. Take a big breath, and as you exhale, draw the arms down again. Like you're getting really heavy, like somebody's gently drawing them downward. You can feel your upper back, maybe, the middle back, the low back. Soften your jaw. Take another breath. Open those fingers wide. And then exhale, be soft. Good, nice. So from here, we're gonna take the feet out a little wider. Mm -hmm. And the toes are gonna to be out and the heels are gonna be in. Yeah, and we're just gonna kinda of like we're sliding down a wall. So take a breath here and as you exhale, bend your knees, let them go down out to the sides. Good, pause here. Now, we're gonna be here for just a few, so if you're like, oh man, I went too far, come up. Or if you're like, mm, I can go a little further, then go deeper. Find the sweet spot. Lengthen up. Good. And again, we're gonna take these arms now out to the sides. Let's have the palms to face up. Good, take a breath here. And as you exhale, bend your elbows, bring them in towards your waist. Good, inhale, reach out. Exhale, bend the elbows. We're gonna stand up and reach the hands out. Inhale, reaching the hands up, straighten the knees. Exhale, bend your elbows, bend your knees. Yeah, perfect, good. Inhale, reaching out, straight knees, arms out. Exhale, pull in. Good, and one more, breathe in. And exhale. And this time we're gonna straighten the knees, take the hands all the way up. Inhale, taking the arms all the way up. Exhale, coming down to your heart. Then bring the hands to the chair. Take your toes forward. Right on, good. And then step these feet on in. Nice, and then circle around. Take a breath in, and take a breath out. And then go the opposite direction. Nice, and then come on back to center. All right, so we've been working this back body to kind of help those muscles to get stronger to engage a little more. So we're gonna play with that a little bit. So we're gonna turn around, turn this chair around so it's facing you. Okay, so it's a little bit different, so we're just gonna play with it, okay? The hands are gonna go on the out, of the, on the seat of the chair. I like to have the thumbs on the chair and then curl my fingers around. And then I'm gonna step my body back just so I get kind of a flat-ish back. Yeah, so right here, we're just having a flat-ish back, drawing this belly inward, having the spine be long. Good, and then bring the weight into your right foot. Mm-hmm. And then maybe we take the left toes and just put them behind us. 
Yeah, so the hips are going to be level. Those toes, if you look at your toes, they're going to be facing towards the front of your chair. Yeah, so right here, that's perfect. So we're pushing away with these arms. We're not letting the chest sink down below. We're pushing away. Okay, belly strong, toes are in the back. And right here is perfect. That's it. Or if you want, you can flex your foot and maybe lift the leg a little. That's it. Perfect. Take a breath in and a breath out. And we'll take three breaths here. Pushing down with the arms, flexing the foot if it's up in the air or the toes down. Good, last breath here. Nice. Then put that foot down. Oh yeah, bend your knees. Great, bring one hand to your knee, one hand to the other knee. And then chin to chest, we're gonna slowly walk this body up and then lift the head up. Yeah, good, so we're gonna to catch a second side. Now you're bringing this is gonna happen. So again, we're gonna bend the knees, bring the hands down. The wrists and the shoulders are in line with each other. And again, we're being very mindful that we don't drop the chest in between. We're gonna push away. So that way then these shoulders, that shoulder joint is safe. Now we're just gonna take weight into the left foot. And the right toes go back. Yeah, that's it, just like here. Perfect, draw the belly in. Or if you want, you can flex the foot and it might just barely hover or it might go up a little higher. Push away with those hands, draw the belly in. Take a breath in and a breath out. So we're just letting this body be nice and strong, using all those back body muscles of using these shoulders. One more breath. Nice, good job. And then bring that foot down. Bend your knees. Bring one hand to one knee, one hand to the other. And then slowly walk the hands up these thighs, chin to chest, and then lift the head up. Yeah, good. Lots of strength on that one. So that was awesome. So now we're gonna take this, the um, chair back to center. Bring the shoulders up, back, and down, up, back, and down, and up, back, and down. Great. And then one more Tadasana. This one's going to be a little bit different, So, but we're still having ankles, knees, hip, shoulders, ears are all in line. And then right here, we're going to take the arms out to the sides. Palms are up. Bend your elbows. Breathe in. And then exhale, reach out. Good, and pause. So let those fingers be nice and wide. Yeah. Let the neck get nice and long. And so sometimes when we think about being upright, we want to let that chin go up. Let the chin be a little bit more neutral, like so it's level with the ground, or a little bit lower. Not chin to chest or chin to your throat, but just so that we're lengthening the back of the neck. One more breath here. Open the fingers wide. Good, and then exhale, let it all come down. Ah, Good, step the feet apart, give it all a good wiggle. Great, good balance today, guys. And then from here, let's come and have a seat. Okay, so bring your body forward again, please. Yes, yeah, so maybe you can do that little scooch scooch with your tush all the way to the front, that's great. So what we're gonna do here is kind of stretch all these back body muscles that we've been working so hard on. So reach your arms out of the sides, take a breath. And then as you exhale, cross your right arm on top of the left, like you're giving yourself a hug. Inhale, open the arms. Left arm on top, exhale. Inhale, open in. And right arm on top. Good, one more time like that. Just moving with your breath, easy breathe in. Left arm goes on top, exhale. And then open wide. And now this time we're gonna take the right arm on top and pause. 
So just letting the hands hold on to you wherever they can, and then just start to give yourself a nice little wiggle. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Good, and then find a little stillness. Good, breathe in. All that nice space right between your scapula. And your scapula moving to the outsides of your back. Great. And then open the arms again. Breathe in. And now we need to take the left arm on top. Left arm goes on top. Give yourself a wiggle. Side to side. Just easy peasy. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. And then come on back to stillness. Take a breath here. Fill up. Imagine filling up that little space there in that upper back. One more breath like that. Good. And then spread your wings wide. Open wide. And then let the arms come down. Now hold on to the back of that chair and just let your body lean forward. We can bring the gaze downward. So as we're curling those fingers around the back of that chair, the chest gently gets to draw forward, and then the scapula get to go around your spine. Not that they're doing the work, because it's more the shape that's making that happen. Good. And then slowly bend the elbows, bring the body back on up, and give these arms a wiggle. Good. And then from here, we're just going to do a nice little twist on. So first off, just take that left hand onto the right knee. The right hand's going to go back by your sides. We're going to get tall in our spine. Then look on over. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good. And we'll get another big breath. And as you come into your exhale, then slowly unwind. We'll go the other side. Right hand, left knee, left hand goes back. Lengthen up, take a breath, and then look on over towards the left. And just get some nice long breaths in. Maybe you sigh out of the mouth if that feels all right. Good. One more breath here. And we're not pushing too hard. We're just kind of being easy with our twist. And then gently unwind. So we're going to do that one more time, but make an, and make an addition here. Left hand, right, left hand, right knee, right hand goes back. Lengthen up. Give our turnover. Then we're going to take this right arm up, breathe it on that, and then we're going to just give a nice little lean. Kind of looking over toward that right armpit. That feels okay. Take a breath in and a breath out. Yeah, so just get a little bit, bit of our side body here. Just lengthen it out and over. And then come on up. Let the arm come down and unwind. And then we go to the other side. Get tall. Look on over to the left. Left arm goes high. Breathe it up. And then exhale, a nice little lean over. And you just go as much or as little as your body wants to go. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then we'll inhale, come all the way up. And then drop that arm down. Take a breath. And then unwind. Great. Hands are back at these knees. Let's heel to the feet out a little wider. And then we'll inhale and lengthen up the spine, maybe looking up, lifting our heart towards the ceiling. And then exhale, we'll pull back. Breathe in, come forward, look up. Exhale, easy, pull back. And then come to that nice tall spine again. 
Good. Take a breath here, and now we're just going to bend the elbows and bow down. We're going to move with that just a little bit. So straighten the elbows, coming up. It's a flat-ish back. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows, bring your heart forward as you bow. And one more up. And one more down. Good. And then once you get here, slide those elbows onto the knees. One hand can rest inside of the other. And just let the head just drop. Yeah, just feeling that all those back body muscles, now they get to just traction out. Be easy. Maybe move that chin a little bit side to side. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then back to center we come. Just let the body be a little heavy. Maybe you soften your face, your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. One more breath here. Imagine breathing into your low back and your middle back and your upper back. And then you get to empty all that out. And then the hands are going to come on up to these knees. The elbows are by your sides. We'll take a breath and then slowly straighten your elbows. The chin is coming to the chest. So you're looking down. You can walk the hands up your thighs. And then once you feel where your shoulders are over the hip, then bring one hand to your forehead and one hand to the back of the head. So let your hands hold onto your head. Let your head be heavy. And on your next inhale, we're going to use these arms to lift the head up and put it right on top of your spine. And then take the hands on down. Right on. Good. And then bring these legs back on into center. Good. And then just sit tall for a moment. Feel your ears over the shoulders, over the hips. The hands can rest palms down or palms up. Whatever feels good in these shoulders. And just pause for a moment. Maybe you close your eyes. Gently drawing your belly button into the spine. Not a big giant squeeze, but just a little firmness, just a wedge. Just so that you feel the firmness in your torso that's keeping you upright. These arms get to be heavy and the jaw gets to be soft. And take three breaths here. Just letting your mind connect to, with the, to, to connect with this shape. This nice tall posture that gives your spine that structure so that your heart and your lungs have space. So we're not leaning forward and smushing those organs. We're giving them the space they need to work. Nice. Good. And then flicker your eyes open. And then here, drop the hands down. And then just work your hand on the wrist joints, circling around. And then head the other direction. And then bring your body back. So maybe you scooch one cheek and then the other, all the way to the back of that chair. Uh-huh. And then bring your back to rest against the back of the chair and give yourself that nice little scrub side to side. Take a breath in and take a breath out. Good. And then we end like how we started. Take these feet out and give them a wiggle. Good. And then let them be however they want. And then just drop the arms down and maybe let the chest go up towards the ceiling. One little teeny tiny baby back bend. And then bring the shoulders right back over the hips. Bend your elbows. Place the backs of the hands on your thighs. You're moving one hand inside, rest inside of the other. And we just close these eyes. So there's a difference from where we just were, where we were, where we were seated at the end of our chair, being upright and tall and using muscles. And now is the time where we get to soften those muscles. We get to let this chair hold us. 
So again, the eyes might close or they might soften. You might take that gaze down towards the ground. Feeling your feet, the legs, your behind, your back, these arms. Feeling your face begin to soften and just take a nice big breath in and a nice long sigh out of the mouth. Letting your body be easy. Letting your body now just breathe itself. You don't have to breathe any particular way. You don't have to hold yourself firm or upright. You just get to let your body become easy, effortless. Noticing those effortless breaths in and the effort and easy breath out. Letting the body just do what it needs to do. And we rest just for a few more moments. Right here, just start to bring a little wiggle into these knees, into the legs, bring the knees in and out. Starting to bring a little movement back. And then maybe the arms go down by your sides and give them a good wiggle too. And then find some stillness. And let the feet step underneath the knees and the hands come beside you and we lift away from the back of that chair. Let the arms dangle. See if we can find where that tall spine is again. That little bit of firmness happening in the back body. And then flicker your eyes open. Good. Reach your arms out and up. Breathe in. Taking the hands all the way up. Let them touch. And as you exhale, bring the hands right onto your heart. And then we bow the head to the hands in honor of our practice and honor of each other and the time we all get to spend together. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Namaste.